Hey everyone, Merrick's here, bringing you another video. This is going to be my preview on Julius Creed, the Creed Brothers. This one is really difficult for me. I am going to try and preview him now based on what he is, not what he was. So it's really hard for me to stay objective because in the back of my mind I know what he was. And I was incredibly excited to get what he was. So I'm going to try not to let that affect what he is, if that makes sense. Um, there's some really big positives to him. I no longer think of him as a top-notch feuder at all. Um, he's like a maybe a top 7, 8, 9, 10 feuder at Tech, somewhere in there in my opinion. However, I do think he's going to be one of the best boss battle uh, posters in the game. Um, I'll talk more about that at the end after we go through some things. Uh, just know this is a really tough preview for me to do personally because I have a hard time forgetting what he was. So if it's off or different than usual, let me know in the comments. Um, I did my best. I gave it a few days, and hopefully you guys appreciate what it ends up being. Anyway, here we go. He's a modern era chaotic technician. Um, and let's take a look. He's got the Creed Brothers rank link blue gems do 100% more damage modern era gems do 5% more damage raw any color move starts with one more mp you can see he does have the gear equipped i am going to do things to mitigate the gear nothing i can do about it it's already on the account um but i will run him and i'll explain how i'm running him so you can have an idea how he'll hit without the gear the gear is only going to be available in loot none of us hardly are going to get the gear so to me it's a non-factor in raiding him until it's easy to obtain I don't consider it um, realistic, right? So, um, however, uh, I'm going to have... Oh, I didn't finish this part. He's a trainer. Uh, column break gems do 75% more damage. Blue gems do 60% more damage. And red moves start with two more MP. The real value here is in the blue gems. Um, do 60% more damage, but the red MP isn't going to line up with that very often. So it'd have to be someone that's like a five or six MP and needs blue gems. So it's a pretty good trainer. I would not call this a great trainer. Uh, it's a good trainer though. Uh, and certainly will come in useful slash handy. Uh, and I'm sure at some point all of these things line up and you're like, Oh, this is perfect trainer. Uh, but it's super niche um, strap for this one. We're going to be changing stuff around a lot, especially the plates. I don't have graphics for all the plate changes, but I do for a couple. We're going to start out with moment of bliss. Uh, whenever you break three or more purple gems, get three more MP. This is, I think the move set a lot of people are going to now, um, talking about him for feud. So in an attempt to show you realistic, um, I need to put the right moves in. So we're going to have the military press power slam. And then we are also going to have the sliding lariat along with the high angle rolling slam. It's 8 MP, 6 MP, 6 MP tricolor. So it's not the easiest load in the world. The trainer setup for this has to be exact. Military press power slam. Uh, choose four rows to make into multiply gems of strength nine. Sliding lariat, 6 MP purple. Make 20 random gems into traps. Um, if broken by your opponent, increase your purple gem damage by 15% for one turn. You'll see later in the video when I use this with the sub, it does not work um, after the sub. So it's basically worthless right now. Um, and I'll show you that later. If broken by um, you, deal 250k and make three random gems into purple gems. And then uh, high angle rolling, that's the good part. High angle rolling slam, 6 MP green, 574k damage, choose 10 gems to destroy. Entourage for this one, like I said, has to be exactly this. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. If you don't have any of these, this will not work. Uh, you need Lawler. You need Steel. You need Zombie Orton to make three extra. So you're making six random gems on the purple. Then Santa Hogan for the one MP. That starts you loaded in feud if you destroy four purple gems with the moment of bliss played on. Whenever you break three or more purple gems, get three blue MP. 100% strap since this is a big account. His gear is equipped. So this is the way we're going to get around that. If you add up the total of multiply gems he makes, this is 28 gems at strength 13 with the gear. So 28 gems with strength 13 is 28 times 13 is 364 gems. Um, so if he didn't have the gear, it'd be 28 gems times 9, which is 252 gems. So what I'm going to do is put out three rows or 21 gems at times 13. 
21 gems at times 13 is 273 gems. So it's about 20 more gems. So this will hit harder um, the, a little bit than he would without the gear, but it's very, very close. Plus you get a buff in feud and stuff like that. So that's how I work the math out on that. So even though the gear's on, this should uh, explain to you how he hits without it. We're going against Taker, um, so we don't have a class advantage or anything. Here we go. So, like I said, for this to work, um, you need to destroy four purple gems, and then that moment of bliss will fill the blue, and the four purple gems will fill the sliding lariat in feud. Uh, once 99 MP is gone. All my builds are non-99 MP, so we'll destroy four purple gems. I personally struggle with choose destroys. Often they don't work out well for me. Um, so I really dislike them uh, in general, but you can see that went pretty okay. Um, now what you'd want to do when you're putting four columns up, we're only going to do three, remember, but make sure you leave yourself a three match. And when you have four columns, you're going to guarantee basically that this is a three swipe with three traps. We should still be close anyway, uh, but you know, I don't think we'll miss either way because of Orton. But Orton is needed so you don't miss. Anyway, three instead of four to make up for no gear. This is with 100% strap as well. Then you throw your trappy traps out and you make your three match. We have two. Hopefully I don't miss. Uh, likely there's very little chance this would miss. Let's see what happens. Um, uh, where are we doing four columns? Almost missed, but we're going to be good. Okay, there we go. That was actually a lot of purples. So that was 68 million damage reduced to 65. So you can expect um, a little bit of resolve time with this build. You can expect to occasionally cascade. For sure, I would like probably 1 in 5. I'll run it one more time. 1 in 5 to like 1 in 6 or 7, I would say. Maybe normal people, it's like 1 in 10. It's only 4 gems, but you're locked in a lot of times where they are. And once in a blue moon, you won't get 4 purples on the board. That's not very frequently, uh, but it can happen. Um, so, this one is like a really safe one. Lots of purples. I said that, so I'll probably cascade. I didn't. And again, uh, we got the blue match there. That's perfect. Three columns. Sixty-five million. I think I think sixty-five million is a pretty realistic feud score with some cascade risk um, with the moment of bliss plate the trainer requirements very hard I have a ton of stuff on my account I still don't have zombie Orton I'm missing two zombies in the game uh, two so's and zombie Orton he is a very very hard zombie to get at least for me um, so keep that in mind all right this is kind of similar um, probably less stiff requirements because you don't need zombie Orton and also has cascade risk uh this you can get the buff twice i almost guarantee you i will cascade on this one since i did it on the last one um but i'll let you guys take a look and you can see we're going to put the short arm clothesline in uh 6 mp purple deal 578k damage increase your purple gem damage by 150 percent for one turn um does not affect bonus damage then deal 600k damage make 30 traps into purple Entourage for this one um, is a little bit different in that we are going Steel and Woods, Santa and Cody. That gets everything loaded, turn one in Feud. Um, now, if we put this um, another anniversary plate on, a different one, uh, I don't think it's in use anywhere, is it? No. Okay. The I'm blanking on the name. I'll tell you when I put it on right here. Phenomenal Flow. Whenever you break three or more green gems, get three uh, purple MP. For this one, if you break three green and three purple, you can hit the buff twice um, and get 300% purple gem damage. So uh, let's take a look at this one. This is obviously two more gems than four, so it is uh, risky. You um, you could put the traps out twice, too. Um, it does make it a little bit riskier, though, 
and I don't think it's really worth it personally, so I wouldn't bother with that. It's another click that's not really worth it. So you gotta hit this move first, and then you're gonna break three green, three purple. Actually, mm, three green and three purple. To no one's surprise, I cascade. So, at this point, I'm just going to hope I pin him here. To be honest, and he can't kick out, because otherwise he's going to have his sub nonsense going. That's 40 million. You can two-click uh, with a good setup for a... About 42, 45 million. We'll get into that later. Uh, we kept Taker down there. Let me try it again with two buffs. Also, depending how you feel about the board, um, it is safer to put the traps out twice. So if there's a lot of purples and greens, um, you can also throw the traps ahead of time. Then you're guaranteed no issues but there's other anyway it doesn't matter uh, I'm just gonna play this it's hard enough for me as it is like I said this is a tough one for me three and three we almost did it again throw your traps out and then you change them all purple with the buff twice Good enough. All right. That's 60 million? Not bad. Uh, but Cascade Risk on both of those two. Uh, but that's two different ways you can run him. Turn one for Feud. Both have Cascade Risk. 165 million nerfable with Multiply Down people. 160 million not nerfable with Multiply Down people. Both risky. Um, all right. This build set is going to be crazy for boss absolutely crazy for boss um he will destroy blue boss battle with this because you can lose none of your pyro gems and when things go right it's really really good um in in feud 2 but as you guys know with subs and you know how i feel about subs things go wrong often um but this is going to be a fantastic boss battle build again in my opinion that's where julia shines uh, sleeper hold, 6 MP submission, choose 10 gems to make into green sub gems, which all we care about is what they leave behind and the fact that we choose green. Uh, blue pyro gems, military press power slam, 8 MP, we know this, we saw it, and actually we know all this, we've, we've used all of them, so I'm not going to read them all again. Loadout for this one is actually really friendly, really, really friendly. Uh, Lawler and Lex, that gets everything ready to go turn one without needing Santa Hogan. Zombie Gunther... And then Ozzy for 30% blue gem damage. Ozzy already coming in clutch. Everybody's got him. A lot of people have Zombie Gunther. This is really, really friendly. For this one, um, Dog Ear Gremlin Plate, I'm going to go ahead and put it on. Because most people, have, or a lot of people, have one at this point. It wasn't the Dog Ear Gremlin Plate the one that was free during Waller if you just did a tour. So literally, you should have one if you've been playing. Um, and then again... We're going to try and simulate without the gear, so I'm only going to do three columns, although that's not exactly correct, because, um, anyway, usually, but it'll be close enough. He hits hard anyway, who cares? I'll just do three columns. <clears throat> so the cool thing is you will have to load um, two, three green matches um, with the choose, but then you make um, green gems down here turn into pyro gems, and it only lasts two turns. So when it works, it, it it's great. In a uh, boss battle, it'll work every time. So we're going to get rid of these. Pro break here. And then um, I'm going to do that. So we're going to turn this one green we're gonna keep these two and then we're gonna make this one 
And let's hope we can keep some of these. And then this column is basically shot at this point um, if we do that. So let's actually do this instead and do this and try and get one in this column. And then let's do a backup thing. No, let's not do that. Let's do that. All right. That's pretty good. Uh, we only missed one, uh, two. Of course, in boss, you would just go like, uh, put a green here, uh, or a sub gem here, 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 and here, and then you'd get all of the columns. We're only gonna do three uh, to mitigate the gear being uh, crazy good. Um, so this would be very similar without the gear. And then just destroy all those, and then the ones you don't get, pick those up like that. Seventy-five million. That's really good. Uh, I, for boss. I don't like sub-builds, but that's really good for boss. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is. Um, so, uh, and solid for feud too, right? It hits harder than in the other builds. Uh, that we saw. It uh, doesn't have Cascade Risk. It hits harder than the other builds, but it has Sub Risk. So it still has Risk, but hits for 75 mil. This um, is kind of... Um, I would say this is my favorite build now. You don't need to use the sub, but you can use the sub. And I'm also not going to use two moves. This Corner Shot, Slingshot, Splash, 6 MP green, 425k damage, plus 455k bonus damage for every Pyro Gem. It's really situational with the subs and stuff. I'm not a fan of it. And then this arm bar, which may surprise a lot of people, it is the super sub. But compared to what his other sub build does, I just find it, other than tours, um, to be kind of not good at all. So to me, it's not worth talking about or, or showing. You can use it if you're a sub enjoyer. You can get this sub up to 25 million a, a turn. But it's not quite as fast as you think because you have to go through some stuff to get there. Anyway... It's a 10 MP sub, choose 11 gems to make into blue submission gems at 1.85 million damage for three turns, uh, remaining turn into pyro gems, which modify all gems above it into blue gems. It's doing the same thing as the sub we were just using, but it's much, much higher MP. So that's why I decided not to use it and why I don't like it. Um, you've seen all these moves except the purple sub, which is a 6 MP purple sub that's choose purple gems. Uh, I talked about the trap gems not working earlier. We'll start with that, and I will show you exactly what I mean um, uh, in this build. Um, so for this one, we're going with all the purple buffing we can. We're going with Woods. We're going with Gunther. Uh, we're going with Jade at 30%, and we're going with Cody at 30%. So 30, 30, 40, uh, all of the buffage, right? And um, we're going to start out with no plate. Um, that's going to buff the purples and we can move into one that does and then we will get into two, two clicking with it and see how good that is. Okay, so remember how this says it increases purple gem damage by 15% for one turn if your opponent breaks the gem? So obviously we want to put that out, right? We could get some crazy purple gem damage. By the way, our purple gems are doing 216k damage. Now let's hit the sub, and we need to do two, three matches. Um, we could break it and then set off a chain reaction uh, of purples, potentially. Don't really want to do that. Uh, so two, three matches reloads it, and then just go ahead and plop some gems down. Um, whatever, it's not a big deal. Don't stress it. And as you can see, as he's breaking them, there's our boost. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It's huge. 13. But wait. It's gone. 216k damage still. So we lost out on 13 times 15, like what? Almost 200% purple gem boost because this doesn't work right. In my opinion. Literally, there's... I mean, it doesn't work. What's the... There's no point in that ability. So I think that needs fixed, Scopely. Um, hello? Anyway, uh, put your traps out. It's 
so really the only advantage to the sub is all heart. I just did that because I wanted to show that the trap's um, ability is, is worthless from the sub standpoint. So he hit for 51 million, right? So let's put an all heart on him and see what we hit with that. And then we're going to get into uh, some really fast two-clicking builds. Um, because really, the other builds for me don't work for Feud for me. Especially considering there's so many techs better um, that either hit harder with risk or have zero risk at all. Um, so the it's two-click or nothing for me. Uh, as far as feuding. That's why I said his real um, his real value is that boss battle to me. Um, and, and that's why I'm trying... It's hard for me to separate it because he went from being extremely valuable at feud to not at all. To me. In my opinion. And everyone is entitled to their wrong opinion. Including me. So all heart. You generate two or, or three or more submission gems. Increase your... Um, Green and your purple gem damage by 100% for two turns. Purple's what we're after, right? I'll throw the subs out anyway, just because. Because breaking them does do a little bit of damage. Kind of disappointing to see, though, that they don't work. Um, for sure. Hopefully we can get that fixed or changed to two turns on the trap gems. Uh, since one turn is doing nothing. Uh, that would be great. Um... I've definitely, uh, I, I just found this out this morning, so I mentioned it to, to Scopely, although I don't know if anyone has seen it yet, um, so hopefully that gets fixed. Because he could certainly use the love now. Uh, were that to get fixed, he would be very similar to Zombie Becky Triple Black, actually. Uh, he would hit uh, insanely hard um, off of the sub, but you'd still have to sub, and that's kind of a negative as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, we have the um, all heart, so instead of that 216, we're at 275k. So it's a little bit more, not a ton. Then we're going to get the buff. Boom, 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 bam. We didn't break very many gems, so we actually, I think... We hit for 47 million. Was that less damage? I don't remember. Anyway. Okay. Now let's uh, two-click this baby. What do we get two-clicking? We're going to leave everything the same and just two-click. Um, sub plate's not going to do anything. And we're going to do it without any plates first. This again, 100% strap. Boop. This, of course, will be fast, it'll be safe, and you'll win in two cycles every time. In 40, 49 million. Um, you'll win in one cycle against strikers, maybe, sometimes? Uh, especially if they have hollow stars. Um, so 49 million. Uh, there's one thing we can add, though, to add 50% uh, more damage with the buff, so it's uh, it's not nothing. Uh, I don't have one of these, so hopefully you guys do. Um, the Bubba's Glasses uh, will give us a 50% boost in purple gem damage, so let's go ahead and throw that on and see what two-click does. A lot depends on how your traps resolve, too. So we could actually hit less hard um, if we have worse trap resolve than last time. And kind of called that, right? 50 million. About the same. Um, so anyway, that's, that's that. Now, there is another thing you can do um, if you really want to. You can still use the multiply move um, turn two if you go back to the moment of bliss. Um, we can do this. We can take this off just because it's excessive. All right. So you can also do, and I don't have a graphic for this, so let me just turn these off from here on out um, right here. You'll just have to 
So a couple things you can do with the multiply move still. Use a blue prop up. If you use a blue prop up, he's going to hit for after 99 MP. He's still going to hit super hard. Um, so that would fix it. And then you want Santa Hogan here. And then I would put MP down here. MP reduction. So you can also still play him this way. Uh, go against people that uh, are only exactly loaded with one MP down. And what you will do turn one with um, this plate equipped is you'll either make a purple swipe, a blue swipe, or if neither of those are here, you can hit both moves. Okay? Um, I'll show you what I mean. So if you know they're not charged, like see now Taker won't be charged. Um, if I had a purple or blue swipe, I would take that and that would fill my blue up, right? Since I don't, uh, I just fall back to this and it takes a little bit longer. Uh, but Taker probably won't kick out because he hasn't been. It takes a little bit longer, but then Moment of Bliss loads the blue and then next turn you drop the multiplies. One, two, three. Right? So let's see how quick it is though if he doesn't, or if I get the match, the purple or blue. I can just simulate the match because we have 99 MP. So this is three options to make sure you're loaded turn two. Uh, all three work, and that's why you use the MP redu reduction of one and target specific people who are not going to be loaded in feud. So here we have a, a blue and we have a purple, so we could do whatever. So here's the blue match. Your opponent's not loaded, takes his swipe, and then you do you what you do. Again, he's got the gear, so we're only going to put three out instead of four. And you could also use a prop instead. So... Here's the deal with Julius. Um, am I incredibly disappointed? Base 160 million. Uh, based on on what he was, yes. Do I think that that was too strong? Sure. But I feel like they should have um, just nerfed the multiplies down instead. Uh, maybe a little bit. Uh, but the, on the on the downside, if they do that, then he's not as good for blue boss, right? Um, so this is how I see Julius. I see him as two different things. I see him as, um, there's feud, and then there's boss battle. For boss battle, he's going to be ridiculous for blue. Uh, like you just saw a blue, purple, or whatever in boss, and he destroys purple. Absolutely destroys purple. Uh, you saw the blue sub, where you leave all that stuff, he'll hit way harder in boss, because you'll have every column. He destroys blue boss. So that's two colors for boss that he is fantastic at. I would give him a max grade for boss battle. So it's hard not to, not to, like, he has huge value at boss. Now, as far as feud goes, mainly I have a hard time with it because he's not safe on all of the builds, and they don't hit super hard. If I'm going to be not safe, I want to hit like I hit with Miz, like 120 million. You know what I mean? So uh, if I'm going to be safe, though, um, and I hit, for, then I want to hit for like 60 million. He's just a little bit short of where I want him for feud both ways right so then it becomes well for two months i have this 99 mp where i can run him the way i want after two months if you're somebody that has a ton of blue props you can continue to run him the same way i think on my my account i have over 300 blue up props that's probably enough for me to run him um for his one win because i always do unique wins in feud for a couple years to be honest um and without getting any more so that's not the end of the world. The other thing is I can do, you can do what I just showed you, which is target the right people um, with an MP down and then just swipe and go either way. So is it ideal? No. Is it what I want? No. Is it workable? Yes. Um, am I disappointed? Yes. But am I disappointed because he's not what he was? Or am I disappointed because he's not useful now? And I think it's because of what he was. Uh, what I now miss out on um, because I know what that was because it's really fun so like as far as ranking him for feud assuming you don't want to use props assuming you don't want to take a swipe he can two click for like about 50 million very quickly 
which is really good. It's just not great because people will kick out. Otherwise, he can do the, the triple purple, the blue sub, um, or you can do the other two moves with the cascade risk that I showed you. Um, and then he's also good, but not great. Um, so as far as I'll rate him like two different ways, I'm going to go ahead and say, um, as far as techs go, I think he's be going to be, um, the best tech boss battle, uh, character consistently. Right. So <clears throat> I think for boss, he's like a plus plus, um, gets a top grade for me as you go into feud that falls off drastically, unless you're willing to use props. If you're willing to use props, uh, he, he will be the best tech feuder, right? If you're not willing to use props or if you have a top lane, he also would be the best tech feuder. But if you're not willing to do those two things, like I don't really want to, um, then he falls way, way off in my opinion. I think uh, tech Cody's better at that point because you could always throw a judgment day plate on and mitigate Co Cody's risk completely. Um, uh, Julius doesn't have that option. Patterson, Benny will tell you, is way, way better. I don't play Patterson and haven't played him uh, that way, so I can't vouch. Um, but I do know Patterson has cascade risk but and is clicky, but he can hit ridiculously hard. So I feel like I agree, even though I haven't played him. Um, CM Punk has got cascade risk, but he's going to be really fast uh, and hit stupid hard. I know my buddy Broken has. I've seen, seen screenshots of Broken for hitting over 120 million with his CM Punk. Um, that's way better than Julius is hitting with his um, risky stuff. Um, <laughs> Tech Steiner is way, way better. He's completely Cascade Merrick's proof. Uh, and I think I was hitting for like 50 million at silver. So yeah, exceptionally better. Um, this is for feud only. Uh, like I said, CM Punk. Um, Dusty. A Dusty, a lot of people think is the best feuding tech there is. I don't have him on my account, so don't know. Uh, but Dusty's going to be better. Cody's going to be better. Certainly Kaiser Drip is better. Um, and then if you want if you want to play risky, guys, to be perfectly honest, I don't know if there's a harder hitting risky uh, person than Dom, especially if you're going to play a sub build. If you're going to play a sub build, Zombie Dom sub build hits ridiculously hard. So uh, like I said, Tale of Two Tail tapes for me, really. He's a solid feuder, but not amazing. I don't consider him a top tier uh, tech at all as far as feuding goes. I do think for boss battle, though, he's probably the best tech in the game um, all around. It'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Let me know what you think in the comments. Hope you enjoyed this preview video. It was difficult for me to do. Sorry it took so long. Thanks for watching, guys. Good luck out there. <sighs> Glad that's done. That was, that was rough for me.